Assalamu alaikum. My name is Dr. Rizwan. I am from Peshawar. Myself, Sana Asif. I am registered nurse at RAU Hospital. Uh, I am Tahira Roman. I am a nurse from Nescom Hospital. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Maham and I am a uh, registered nurse in Southeast Hospital PWD. I will join uh, on GSL for OET because I want to improve my linguistic and communication skills. So I chose GSL because uh, GSL is uh, one of the best, in my opinion, best places where you can practice your English language. I joined uh, GSL two weeks ago, but after two weeks, uh, I am a little bit confident that I can do it. I have uh, joined this GSL for OET uh, almost about uh, seven weeks ago. So let's start our podcast and I'm just going to start with Dr. Zwan. Today the topic of our discussion is kidney stones. The scientific name for it is nephrolithiasis. Nephro referring to the part of the kidney, nephron, where the kidney stones develop and lithiasis being stone formation. Uh, the cause or why it happens is because of the precipitation of calcium, phosphate and other salts that precipitate and accumulate inside the kidney and cause the formation of the stone. So what are the symptoms in the So mainly the symptoms uh, are uh, like nausea, vomiting mm -hmm. and pain. Okay. And uh, pain only uh, develops when the patient, when the stones uh, start moving. Mm -hmm. That the time when the, sometimes the patient feel, feels no pain. But okay. only when the stone starts to move. So mm -hmm. these symptoms are developed. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, uh, urine contain particles um, that are calcium, potassium, uh, phosphate, uric acid. When the level of these particles gets too high, then um, uh, they form crystals and they, uh, it, it will form uh, kidney stones. Stone. One of the uh, most important cause of uh, formation of kidney stones uh, is uh, dehydration. Like people are not going to. Uh, to uh, hydrate, um, the people are not uh, making themselves hydrate and uh, when our urine get acidic uh, these uh, minerals get accumulated and form a stone and when the stone starts to move it get hurt so bad. Yes, so we can hydrate ourselves and uh, we can uh, advise patients to uh, hydrate. According to WHO, uh, a, uh, adult women need at least a 2.7 liter of water per day and uh, adult men uh, they need uh, 3.7 liter of water per day. Okay, so is there any age factor involved? No, there is no age factor. It can develop in any age. But the reason is this, the people who don't drink water properly, or don't hydrate themselves properly. So mostly those people develop with this condition. Mm -hmm. There are many sizes of the stone, like uh, from 1 millimeter to 5 millimeter, it can be treated with the, with the drinking of water okay. and if the stone is like in more than uh, 10 millimeter or above you're talking the about the size size of the stone yeah, okay. then it will be treated with the medicine and mostly doctors give medicine like uh, alpha blockers the med medicines which uh, relax the muscles of the bodies or kidneys especially and the which, ureter the mm -hmm. ureter, ureter yes. which helps the stone to move through the oh, easy like uh, through, uh, move through the ureter easily like ma'am Tyra said that it depends on the size of the stone if the stone is uh, less than 0.5 millimeters yeah. it doesn't cause any symptoms okay. usually the patient doesn't feel any symptoms he doesn't feel any pain and if a patient is diagnosed of kidney stones it can be an incidental finding on an ultrasound but oh. if the size of the kidney stone is more than 0.5 millimeter then as Mantaira said that when it moves it it uh, stretches along with yes. the wall of the ureter which causes the excruciating pain mm -hmm. and that's uh, how the patient feels the symptoms with uh, nausea and vomiting because of the level of pain that it causes so there is no age factor everybody should be aware that uh, they should take minimum requirement of uh, water intake that they have to per day and females and males both even children in our society 
there we only drink water when we are really thirsty mm. or we are uh, uh, maybe in ramadan when we <laughs> fast for the whole day then we are excited yeah. to drink water <laughs> So I think we should raise more awareness that proper hydration yeah. is important for yeah. the prevention of such diseases yes. as well. I want to add something in the treatment mm -hmm. that doctor can also do shock wave lithotripsy. Okay. Yes, and uh, they can um, with lithotripsy they can break stones into small pieces. Lithotripsy okay. is basically when they uh, target sound waves to the stone Stones. and, and, the it, and yes, it and breaks into it, small it, it brushes the stone Stones, and it makes yes. it easy to easy. pass out in the urine. In the urine. Okay. So is there any uh, connection between kidney failure and the kidney stones? Yes. Are they connected to each other? Uh, if a stone gets stuck into, um, into the passage, it may cause end stage renal disease. Oh. When when the kidney stone is big enough to block mm -hmm. the urine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it causes a lot of mm -hmm. black flow to the kidney. Yes. That yes. is very dangerous for the nephron, which is the functional unit of yes. the kidney. And when there is back flow, there is also chances of uh, hydronephrosis. hydronephrosis. Then there stages. are irreversible changes in the kidney, which can cause kidney damage. Uh, I want to add something that uh, one of the major myth uh, in our society is that uh, people think that taking minerals uh, is very healthy. Okay. Uh, on the other hand, like uh, we uh, do have information about minerals that taking a lot of minerals may cause kidney stones because mm -hmm. we don't know that uh, our blood may uh, already have enough minerals yeah, in, in our body. Yes. Yes. The excess, they, of, excess of everything is bad. Yeah. And when they have a lot of minerals, they may accumulate and cause crystals. And I think people should avoid those who are suffering from this problem, the uh, kidney stone. They should avoid taking like uh, root, uh, leafy. Yes. Uh, yes. Vegetables. 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 V
the more they urinate that's <laughs> better yeah, for that their better kidneys for the kids are and better yeah. for their health or uh, okay so uh, can anybody tell about the cost of treatment of kidney stones like for example you're talking about the surgical procedures do you think that uh, is it costly i don't know anything about yeah, it's it is it costly and yes. nowadays it's very costly yes. and different hospitals have different charges like in government setup they charge less but in private sector the charges are very high maybe uh, 4 lakhs to 5 lakhs yes uh, that's why and especially in shifa international islamabad they charge the most yes they charge yeah. even even to kidney. diagnose yeah. even to diagnose yeah. you, yeah. you need to sell your kidney yeah. not the gold standard is you either get a ultrasound yeah so and even an ultrasound yes. nowadays is expensive exactly yeah. so that's why we say prevention is better than cure yeah so drink water to and the world water. record biggest water. world record biggest stone is of uh, weighted 1, 1 kg. kg i think yes. i have seen that so i think it is uh, put uh, it is placed in a water some kind of thing i have seen that It is. Is it preserved or not? I think it's. Yeah, it must have been preserved. Yeah. Yeah. Kept in a museum. That, yeah. <laughs> kept in a museum. Yeah. Its size was measured uh, 17 centimeters. Yes, and it is oh. as big as a coconut. Yeah. Oh. So you is can imagine how. Is the man a woman alive? Imagine <laughs> what patient. Can imagine is the patient alive? What pain she felt? Yeah. He or she. Yeah. yeah. Yes. I hope he's alive and healthy now. No, I think they got it out. <laughs> yes. with the kidney yes with the kidney, <laughs> with the kidney. <laughs> okay i think that's it for today and we are going to see you next week inshallah